What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm a little late to this one. In fact, I'm very late to this one. I'm checking out Inside Out 2, the animated movie. We enjoyed part one really well. Actually, part one is probably one of the last Disney movies that we enjoyed. Unless Moana came after that, but I don't remember any movie after part one of um, Inside Out that has really like gotten us. Every other movie, it's like that era, the era of Toy Story 3, Inside Out, Moana. What's it called? We don't talk about Bruno. What's, the, what's that one called? En is it Encanto? Encanto? Yeah. That era, after that, Disney movies have just been really bad to the point that we don't even trust them. We don't even trust them to just leave them in front of the kids. So as parents, we have to watch it first <laughs> just to make sure that they're not trying to teach our kids anything that we don't approve of. But it is what it is. You, you always have to do that anyway as good parents, regardless whether it's movies or games or whatever, you do need to, you know, kind of gatekeep or keep an eye out on things. Because if you don't approve of them as a parent, then you need to be able to keep an eye out on that. And of course, you know, I believe in doing that for the earlier ages. And then as they grow older, you release them or you release this information into their hands and you let them based on how you've raised them, based on the values, and the faith and everything that you might have instilled or taught them built their character on then they can make their own decisions but i don't believe in kind of protecting them like over protecting i believe earlier years yes you know teenage years and then after that even in the teenage years you still should have been kind of drip feeding information appropriate for their age into their hands so that they're not kind of blindsided when they grow up what i didn't like about my upbringing not my upbringing specifically but just the young christians upbringing of my generation was that we were too shielded to the point that we didn't even have the tools to survive in the real world when we were sent off to uni or college you know what i mean so we were so shielded that we we couldn't be streetwise. We couldn't be, we couldn't even fit in. I think there's a, there's a balance that we need to do around that, especially for the generation that are coming up, that they need to balance that. The Bible says we're not of this world, but it doesn't mean that we don't mingle or integrate or, cause then how can you, this is my thought guys. This is how I'm thinking. How can I reach people if I, I'm not even integrated? I don't even speak their language. I don't even know what they like. I don't even know what they talk about, what they watch. So it's like me now as a Christian, I don't know anything about the hype around the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't know anything about the hype around Disney movies. I don't know anything about the hype around football. I don't know, wrestling, the rock days, like all oh, just things that are just like common in pop culture. Then when I'm talking to somebody who could potentially be a friend of mine, I have nothing to talk about. I don't know anything. I can't talk about how The Rock, you know, or how Stone Cold, Stone Cold's done. You know what I mean? Like I can't talk about how, oh my God, when Captain America caught that hammer, it was, oh, I love you, right? That's my thing, which is why I believe in, yes, shield the children from the early days. And then as they get to teenage years, you start to drip feed and you start to teach them how to be streetwise. You try to help them build their own character and let them grow and let them make use of that, which you've taught them. Anyway, guys, that's my rant on our children and the things that we let them watch, but yeah. Like I said, Inside Out was one of those last movies that we trusted <laughs> Disney for. Ever since then, it's just been roller coaster. There's been like one or two that was good and then every other one's rubbish. We're gonna check out Inside Out 2, guys. I know you guys have probably watched the movie by now, but guys, before I go into that, leave a like, comment, and sub. Let's get into it. This is Joy, coming to you live in Riley's mind. Make some noise. Sadness is in the house. <laughs> we gotta get our mouth guard, people. Fear. No, no, that's not ours. Whoa. Glad to have her on our team. Our little girl's growing up so fast. Ow. Sorry. Wait, is that the door? It should be nothing oh. but smooth sailing. Hello. Ah. Whoa. I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? Oh, we got a new, new emotions. emotion. Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? Uh, we? What? I'm envy. <gasps> Look at your hair. Oh, yeah, not happening. <laughs> That's on we. On what? It's what you would call the boredom. 
Oh, Gordon. Oh, what's your name, what's big that fella? That's embarrassment. Welcome oh, to headquarters, embarrassment. embarrassment. Oh, we're doing a fit. No. Oh, <gasps> nope. Going <gasps> high. Oh, you got a real sweaty palm there, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look, we all have a job to do. I plan for the future. You want to sit with us? These girls are so cool. Wait, who's the motion no I, I got this. I'm uh, confused. Joy, I'm just curious. Maybe um, I could Thank you. Help. Not now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's no. not going to haunt us for the rest of our lives at all. Oh, you so I know change is scary. Let's do this. Hey, Riley. But we need new friends or we'll be totally alone in high school. Out with the old, in with the new. Riley's life requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. <gasps> you can't just bottle us up. Oh, so they're gonna we get rid of the old emotions. emotions. Oh, let the new Riley begin. This is a teenage emotion, I'm guessing. I'm the worst. <laughs> well, that's a preview of the next. Oh yeah, years. there we go. The parents have their own emotions. Have I ever steered you wrong before? Many times. Yes, she's a monster. It's the sarcasm. Sarcasm. Boy, are we so oh lucky we ran God. into you guys. Boy, are we so lucky we ran into you guys. Wow, those guys are jerks. Oh, sarcasm. Those guys are jerks. All right, guys, I want to check out the final trailer as well um, before I give you my thoughts. So let's check it out. Right, Riley, let's go. how was camp? good she goes away for three days and all we get is good yeah. she goes away for three days and all we get emotion. is good wait yeah sounds right Ask the the back to the game yeah. he's in the parents right. emotions he's already officially a teenager now you aren't packed yet i'm the worst uh overreact much i barely touched it <laughs> let the professional handle this uh -oh. I'm too gross to go anywhere ever again! Wow. Well, that's a preview of the next 10 years. I'm anxiety. I am just such a huge fan of yours. <laughs> We're Riley's new emotions. Wow! Remember when we all finally came up to headquarters? Nostalgia. That was like oh, 30 nostalgia. seconds ago, nostalgia. Yeah, those were the days. Uh. Well, everything moving. <laughs> Pillow fight! Arrives in theaters. Yeah. Ooh, walkie talkies. Check, check, check. Can you hear me? I gotta press the button. Go for joy. Copy that. Over. Oh, I love them. Joy is my favorite emotion. Just don't look down and keep moving. She'll be okay, right? Uh, 50 50. Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2. There's a part two? <laughs> We're going! Only theaters June 14th. Tickets available now. All right, guys. There's not much to say. It just looks like she's going to be a teenager now. She's experiencing the teenage, you know, mood swings and all the changes that come with that. And I'm guessing the parents are going to go through their own changes as well. The dad seems to have the newest emotion that she has. So that's interesting. So one of them is probably going to be able to relate to her. But yeah, there's not really much to say about the movie, except that I do want to check it out. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm not sure if I'm going to go watch it in cinema, because like I said, Disney movies, are oh, they just don't do it for us anymore, unfortunately. But yeah. We'll check it out on Disney Plus when it comes out and I'll probably do a review with the family as well as here to let you guys know what I think about it. Or we might go watch it in the cinema, I'm not sure, I just, I don't know. My kids haven't really shown any interest in watching it but guys let me know what you think of inside out 2 are you looking forward to it have you watched it i think it should be out already in cinemas or just about to come out in cinemas so let me know what you think of the movie let me know what you think about the trailer leave a like comment and sub to my channel i'll see you guys on my next reaction